What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm not at home. I am at the Four Seasons in New York City and last night was the Fenty Beauty launch with Rihanna. Of course, y'all know by now that she just released her makeup line. It is making headlines all over the internet. And today we are going to dive into all the products. Now the launch party was lit. It was an amazing experience to just see the beauty community come together for such a monumental moment. So in today's video, I have all of the products here that Rihanna launched um, from foundations to brushes to highlighters to cream contour sticks to uh, everything. We got lip gloss, we got sponges, we got invisible uh, blotting powder. There's a lot here. So if you wanna see some swatches, I'm gonna apply it to my face. We're just gonna have a little play date in bed today. Now, if you saw my Snapchat, you know you got a little spoiler. Um, the highlighters, I'm just gonna say it now, they're fucking bomb. Now, I have not tried anything else. Um, so the highlighters are pretty good. Of course, we're gonna apply them to my skin. We have sticks and powders. Um, so also, I just wanna give you guys a quick little uh, tea that I am in a hotel room so the lighting and sound is gonna be a little different than if I am at home in my studio so if the light fluctuates we are literally using daylight um, behind us and there's like 10 skyscrapers and the Sun keeps going in and out of the clouds so if it looks a little off I apologize bear with me all right you guys let's jump right into the video all right you guys let's dive into the products I'm sure a lot of you have been dying to see them in action as well as me um, I went to bed last night and I woke up just thinking about makeup and I couldn't wait to play by now most of you know that Rihanna launched Fenty Beauty. It is a Sephora exclusive and they did a huge launch where they I think they launched in like 17 countries last night. It's on their own website, it's on Sephora, it is everywhere. And if you're in Europe, it is available at Harvey Nichols, I believe. Now there's a lot of products here, so I was like, damn girl, I love that she didn't just come out with like one thing. She's like, bam. And I think something that is really cool and important to note is that her brand is very inclusive and she spent a lot of time working on this and the foundations, you guys, there are 40 shades with, I think, even more coming. And I think that is so epic because a lot of the times, y'all know, brands release foundations and there's like 10 shades. And you're like, girl. So the fact that she spent a lot of time perfecting the formulas and creating a really cool shade range, I think, is really awesome. So today we're going to start um, and do every product that I have laid out in front of me. I do want to note that I do have all the prices here, so I'm going to go over everything with you guys. And we're just going to have a little play date right now. All right, so let's get started. So the first item is, which is great, a face primer. So this right here, you guys, is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Now this is supposed to, let's read it, smooth pore diffusing finish with extended makeup wear. Girl, you know I'm about that life. It comes in this beautiful glass component with the nude on top. It, um, it also matches the foundation, so here's what the foundation looks like. Now, this does feel very nice and luxurious. Y'all know I am not about no lightweight packaging. This feels heavy. Now, in this bottle, there is 1.8 fluid ounces, and that's a lot for a primer. Love it. But let's see if it works. That's the real tea here. So here's what the primer looks like. It is like a lotion-like consistency, and ooh, yeah, it kind of feels like... So we are going to just take some and apply it to the skin. All right, so the primer is on. It feels nice. It doesn't feel too tacky. It feels kind of smooth. Um, and it does feel a little hydrating. It's not like I didn't suck in my moisture, which is nice. All right, now this primer does retail for $37, which is a little up there for a primer, but if it works, it works. Of course, the foundation is kind of what I have been highly anticipating of putting on. This is the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. It's called the Pro Filter as well. And the box says, medium to full coverage for all. Longwear, light as air. It did match my shade at the event. There was a lot of crazy lights, so hopefully I got a good match. Um, I have no idea what's about to happen here. So besides the foundation, which by the way, it retails for $34. Um, there is also a beauty sponge, and that is the Precision Makeup Sponge. It looks like this. It's flat on one side and round on the other with a flat tip. Now this is retailing for $16. On Sephora it says that this is a three-sided makeup sponge designed without latex, perfect for applying and blending all formulas. Use damp for buildable coverage or dry for full coverage. Of course, we know that beauty blenders and other sponges do soak up a little bit of product. I'm gonna use it damp because that's how I normally do it. I wanna feel comfortable. So let's just take the foundation and let's put some on our hands. We'll just do two little dollops and we'll see how it goes. I don't know how quick it dries yet. I don't know the coverage. So let's give it a whirl. 
All right, so I'm just gonna blend out half of my face and let's see how it looks. All right, you guys, the foundation is blending out beautifully. I'm only gonna do one side of my face so you guys can see what is happening, but I just put a little bit more under my eyes. The sponge is blending it out pretty nice. Now this foundation does dry quick, so I'm glad that I only did half of my face because sometimes I'll just dot all over and then it dries a little bit more over here. So here's my face with half of the foundation and half without. So for a little first impressions, we're gonna zoom in a little bit and let's take a look at the skin. Now the foundation looks, it looks beautiful, honestly. Like I'm looking at my skin like it is very smoothing. I'm looking back like, damn girl, this side, this side looks a little jacked up. So far, so good. Now I also forgot in this crazy uh, goodie bag. So we got the products, of course, at the party. And I was just looking through the bag and there's actually a brush that uh, is also for applying. So we got the sponges, we got the brushes, and this one is a full bodied foundation brush, which is full firm, airbrushed full coverage. So I thought, why not try the brush for the other side of my face? So here it looks like this. It has a little guard, of course with the logos on it. It is a synthetic, of course. That's how we apply creams. All right, so let's just take the foundation with the brush and let's see how it applies. Is it better than the sponge? Do we live? Oh, wow. All right, now I'm going in on the neck to blend down, of course. And I will say this, I live for this brush and how it applied it. The sponge I thought worked great and then I tried this and I'm a little bit more in love. I don't even know why. I mean, obviously it's the tool. It just looks even more airbrushed on the side from the brush and it actually applied quicker and definitely gave me that full coverage moment. Maybe the damp sponge wasn't the best idea. Also, when I put it on, it did oxidize very slightly um, and I love how it looks. So that's not really a negative for me. So just be mindful if you are buying your shade, you might want to um, go a shade down if you are worried about, you know, shopping online because you can't touch or see it. But of course, these products are in store, so if you are a little weird about it, girl, go to the mall. The foundation is dry, and they were telling me at the event last night that the foundation kind of like sets itself. So I'm feeling it, and it doesn't feel tacky. It feels really nice. Now you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love a full mask of powders after the foundation. But I will say this, I'm not mad at how my skin looks. It looks flawless and it looks very nice. Now they do have a blotting powder, so maybe in a minute I'll put blotting powder under my eyes. Now I love the component for this one. It's like this weird shaped little compact. It opens up like this. Of course it has a little sponge with it and then of course the protector. Now this is a universal blotting powder. This is $32 for the Invisimat Blotting Powder. This says that it absorbs shine and diffuses the look of pores for an instant filtered look on the fly. I'm gonna do that right now because my pores are annoying. So I cleaned off the foundation brush and I'm just going to dip in here really quickly and I'm just gonna press it under my eyes and see how I feel about it. All right, you guys, so it is giving a little bit of a blurring effect, which you know I'm all about. I wanna look as plastic and fake as possible. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, this will be interesting to see later if I have shine and I go in if it really does take it away. But for now, it's doing a little blurring effect and um, so far so good. Now we're going to dive into the matchsticks. I know a lot of you online have been like, what? the hell are those? I tweeted some pictures of them last night and here is what they look like. So they are magnetized. I love this packaging because it looks like a honeycomb. And if you didn't know, I got honeycomb and bees tattooed on me. Now, there are two formulas. There is a matte, which is kind of like contour and highlighting sticks. And then there's also the matchstick shimmers, which are crazy highlighter colors. We have gold and orange and purple and, and the shade names are pretty cool. So let's just try this contour one. This one is called Mocha. Now these matchstick matte skin sticks retail for $25. And let's see, a magnetized makeup stick in a long wear, light as air matte formula to conceal, correct, contour, or touch up in 20 shades. So I guess we're just gonna give it a whirl. Um, I'm gonna contour it with this a little bit. Now, only thing is I don't have any powder contour from her brand to put over it. So if it doesn't set itself and it's tacky, I will put a little bit of powder on top. Now, this product also has 0.25 ounces in it. I know a lot of you read me to filth when I reviewed a 
other contour stick a few months ago and I did not show how much product was in there. So let me put this all the way up. Here is what you get in this product. I think that is a lot of product because it is more fat. I'm just gonna say it because all of you are gonna read me. I know the KKW contour sticks were a lot smaller with a lot less product and a lot of you had problems with them breaking off. This one is more sturdy, it feels more expensive, and there is a lot more product in here. So I have no idea how this coverage is gonna look. I'm just gonna start here and do a little line in case it's intense. Bam. I'm just gonna go on this jawline and go a little bit up. But after looking in the bag, I forgot there's actually a little brush that says contour and concealer brush, which looks like this. So I guess if it, it works, it works. Now the brush, the bristles here feel a little, they're not hard, they just don't feel as nice as the um, this brush or the highlighting brush. So let's see if it wants to blend out. All right, I feel like the brush took a little extra work to really get it in there. I would probably just go in with a sponge or a different tool that I already had just to make it quicker. But the brush, it's not, I mean, it worked, right? Y'all see it on camera. I'm just gonna buff it out with the sponge and give it a little bit more of like an airbrushed finish. This brush actually worked a lot better than this little guy. Um, wasn't too big of a fan of this brush, but this way quicker. So this is great for literally the foundation, the blotting powder. I'm like using this for everything. And this blended out a lot easier um, and now I'm really liking it. We are blended to filth and I apologize you guys for the lighting in today's video. The litter, like the sun just disappeared behind some skyscrapers. Okay, cool. So before we dive into the powder highlights, I know a lot of you are dying to see those in action. There are, of course, the matchstick shimmer sticks. Now they're kind of funky and fun. Some of them, of course, are more neutral. This one, which I know Rihanna just wore for the cover of her L magazine shoot, was this purple guy called the Unicorn. This shade called Confetti, Lord help me. It's so pretty. I swatched this at the party and I was like, girl. Now normally you guys, when you take a cream product and you just drag it over your foundation, it can lift a little bit. So I am just going to put some on my hand and let it warm up a little bit. And then if you guys are afraid of ruining your foundation or anything, you can take your fingers and let's just let it warm up a little bit. And we're just gonna literally take this and pat it on your cheeks. And this is a really cool tip that Lipstick Nick taught me. So we're just gonna go right in over that contour. And it's okay if it's a little subtle at first. You don't wanna, you know, ruin your beautiful foundation. So here's confetti on the cheeks. I think it looks beautiful. It's serving me that alien like sex goddess realness that I'm living for. And I love how it has like a little bit of glitter like in it as well as like a high volume shine. So I'm gonna do what I always do is take the light on my phone and let's see how this looks. I know the lighting's gonna be a little crazy, but hear me out guys. Ooh, that is pretty stunning. So of course we can layer them with powder, but we'll try that in a minute. I do wanna do the, I've been dying to try the unicorn one. Here we go, this is full on purple darker than confetti. So there is unicorn on my hand. It is definitely a way brighter lilac purple. And I'm just gonna take this stick and see how it looks if I just paint it on. Let's just give it a try. And then I'm gonna take the, sp the sponge with no product on the end and I'm just gonna kind of buff around it and let's see if it likes that or not. Now, I love this one because it is definitely like more subdued and it's definitely ethereal, giving you that little uh, more subtlety vibe. So if this is a little too crazy for you, this one is definitely right up your alley. All right, so one of the colors that I think is so stunning is Chili Mango. I was just testing it on my hand and blending it out. I think for any woman of color, this is going to be a stunning cream blush with a little bit of shimmer in it. I love this. I would definitely even use this as like an eyeshadow base. They were also talking about at the event how you can put them on your lips and do everything. So these are very um, versatile, which I love. Now there is a face highlighting brush. This is the Cheek Hugging Highlight Brush for $32. Now I used this at the event and I fell in love with it because it really placed the powder right on the cheeks. Let me show you if I can get this damn thing open. Now this is a weird shape for a brush. I love it. It's kind of giving me that 3D look and it has this thing almost like cut into it where it's gonna like definitely go right on the cheek. And I tried this last night. I lived for it. Can't wait to try it again. Now let's move on to the powder highlights. These are the Kilowatt 
Freestyle Highlighters, girl. Now, y'all know I'm obsessed with highlighting, and these definitely do it justice. I think the star of the show is Trophy Wife. Rihanna wore this to the party last night. I wore it all over my cheeks on Snapchat. It is beautiful. So let's go in with Trophy Wife. Now these retail for $34. Um, come on, highlight. Of course, this is high end. And this says it is a weightless long wear cream to powder hybrid highlighter that comes solo or paired. So they also do come in duos with other shades and they look like this. Now let me demonstrate this for you guys and tell me what you think. Let's get this blank cheek ready. All right, so we're just gonna take the brush, barely go in, a lot of pigment goes on there. So these are definitely... All right, let's give it a whirl. One swipe, people. Rihanna ain't playing. All right, you guys, so that was literally one, two dips in the pan. Now I'm gonna go in a little bit more on the brow so we can really show off this color. Now it is packed with glitter and amazing pigment. Like when I tried these, I was like, oh my God, bitch. Now of course I gotta do the flashlight test. Now look how it looks on the actual face and cheeks. It is unreal. Like, woo! I'm obsessed. Oh, th I think uh, I'm gonna need this formula in every shade, please. And just because we're sitting here, we gotta do some of the chest and body. Let's open up this robe a little bit. Now, if you are someone who likes to wear dresses or low slung tops, just look at my chest, you guys. Jesus! It is so stunning. I'm like definitely obsessed with this. Even the light with that cream is stunning. But then you go over here and you're like, oh. Holy shit. All right, also for fun, we're gonna take the shade Metal Moon. It is a more icy, straight up white, kind of like duochrome highlighter. And I'm gonna put that over this side, just so you guys can see a little versatility. So let's just put this over it and see what happens. Now, of course, this does not uh, show up as blinding as this one with the glitter in it. This one does not really have that glitter payoff, but it still has a beautiful icy duochrome moment and I live for it. Let's get the flashlight out one more damn time because you know I just got to see this in action. Yes. Now you do see the flakes of glitter when the light hits your cheeks. It is a little more subtle than the other side, but still beautiful. So I'm a fan. Also, I mentioned, of course, that these come in a duo type of formula. So there are four other ones that have the uh, split pans and they're just as blinding. So if you really want your shade, they got all the shades for you and they're all really pretty. I'm like, hi there, look at my hand, it's like a glittery mess. All right, you guys, we are down to the final product. Um, I don't want it to end. All right, so this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. All right, so what is this supposed to do? This is a gotta have it lip gloss with explosive shine that feels as good as it looks in one universal rose nude shade. I love it. So literally the shade is supposed to look good on any skin tone in any one. The stop everything, give it to me gloss that delivers explosive shine in one perfect shade handpicked by Rihanna herself, the Fenty Glow. We're talking the unicorn of nudes that looks good on everyone. Girl, we just gotta try it out right now. So this one is, it comes in this cool, of course, honeycomb type of moment. And I like the wand on this because it is jumbo. I love a product that has a big wand because it gets my big old mouth done quickly. So uh, let's give it a whirl. Here is the universal gloss with no, this is just daylight on my face right now. Now here it is with of course the light. This gloss is really pretty. Um, definitely kind of like an everyday gloss. Is it imperative to own this gloss? I don't think so. There's definitely a lot of drugstore dupes for this one. Everything else, I'm not sure about that, but this one, it's, you know, there's nothing special about it. I think it's pretty, but it's not necessary. Um, all right, you guys, I think it's time to give my final thoughts. So let's go down the line. I gotta say, Rihanna, you fucking killed this makeup line. The formulas are on point. Not that I expected anything less, but you never know because there has been a lot of people lately that have been launching products and they're kind of subpar and it's just like, oh, I'm a celebrity. Let me slap my name on something and call it a day. I see the vision of this brand. The formula is great. Um, and I'm really happy how everything turned out. So let's just go down the line. The primer. Is the primer necessary? 
I, y'all know, I have some of my favorite primers already that I film with all the time. I probably won't be grabbing this a lot just because it says it's gonna blur my pores and, and do a bunch of stuff. And I still kind of see my pores. It wasn't the best primer on earth, but the foundation, girl. If you want a good new foundation, I swear to God, I'm obsessed with this one. Also, Laura Lee has filmed with this today and her skin, drop the mic, bitch. Her skin looked flawless. So we're both huge fans of this and I think that the formula is on point. Of course, we are going to see how this wears throughout the day, but we've been filming for about an hour now and my skin has not moved. And here's the crazy thing. I didn't set it really. I did the blotting powder under, but I didn't do a powder foundation over it and it like set itself and it still feels good it doesn't feel weird um so bitch this is everything moving on contour sticks y'all know the half of the world is not even into cream contour or maybe most of the world we all love powders so i definitely think that i would just normally just do powder contour personally i'm sure rihanna will be um coming out with powder contours so i don't think those were really necessary but they did blend out great once i used this brush the brush that it came with i did not like at all i felt like it was a little too rough and it didn't blend it out nicely it was like kind of too patchy and the brush was a little too bulky i almost wished that it was longer to give it a little bit more of a flare but this brush saved the day it killed it with the foundation the blotting powder and the contour, so this brush is definitely going to be staying in my kit. Now, moving on to the matchstick shimmer sticks. You know I love them. I mean, look at this cheek. It literally looks like an alien sat on my face and then stood up and left its slime, and I love it. <laughs> All right, besides that, I'm holding Trophy Wife. I can't let it go. I feel like it's the only one on Earth, and I just have to have it. Um, this was the star of the show for me. The glitter, the pigment, it was unreal. I think I'm gonna douse my entire body with this and just wear high heels later. So besides that, um, I'm a huge fan of these. Now, of course, we all saw the uh, lighter one. I think this one is a little bit better. This one was still pretty, but I like intense makeup. I'm an intense ass bitch, so this one was cute. Trophy Wife is a little better. Um, the duo ones, of course, I have not tried on my skin yet. We will try those in later videos, but just from swatching them on my hands, on point, you guys. I'm looking around now. Besides that, what else do we have? Of course, we have the lip gloss, which I don't think the lip gloss is... That's the only thing that was kind of like, eh, for me, it's a gloss. It, it didn't do anything mind-blowing, um, but it still is pretty. So if you want to grab it, grab it. All right, you guys, I had so much fun playing with all the Fenty Beauty products. I'm just going to say it right now. The Fenty Beauty Collection by Rihanna is Jeffree Star approved. I am a little shook at how consistently great it is overall. I was expecting a few products to be bangers and maybe a few misses, because you never know, you guys, it's makeup. Not everyone can execute everything flawlessly, but somehow Rihanna managed to really slay. So congrats, girl, your makeup line is everything. I cannot wait to see what you put out next. Um, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this review here from New York City. I will see you guys back home and on the next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.